Ceramic from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show off some of the new features in Magnet Review. As you can see, we're starting in Axiom, and I just want to quickly highlight how seamless it is to go from deep analysis and examine to providing investigators access to their data within Magnet Review. So I've already got some items bookmarked here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and right click, and I'm going to head over to Create, Export, and Report. Here you can see we have our various options for exporting and reporting, but I'm gonna go ahead and select Magnet Review. I'll click Next. I'm going to only export the items that I have tagged for Magnet Review. And here you can see we've got bookmarks and some evidence. Click Next. Select the artifacts. I'll leave everything by default. Leave the columns configured just like they are. Any tags and comments, absolutely. And then I just need to pick how I want to export this out. Now, I recommend using Magnet Review SAS to be able to push this very, very seamlessly. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now that I'm signed in, I can just click next. All I need to do is give this a case number, acknowledge that this data is gonna be at a secure US data center. And when I click next, we're gonna go ahead and be able to start that export. Now, since I've already done that, I'm gonna hop on over to Magnet Review and show you what that data looks like. So now that I'm in Magnet Review, let's go ahead and look at this case that I just uploaded. And from my case dashboard, I can see all the various cases that I currently have. Here you can see there's some with five evidence sources in them, some with two, some with only one. I love the fact that with Magnet Review, you can have all your case evidence from a particular case in one case file versus having several different case files, each with only one piece of evidence. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this current case. Now, with this case dashboard, we've uh, done some updates here, and one of the things I wanna show off today is this new conversation view. So we're able to show this and we're threading those messages. Uh, we can see the tags and comments, we have the categories, and here are the evidence sources if I wanted just to navigate through those evidence sources. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and click view all conversations. This will pull us into the artifact view for those conversations. We can expand this out and here you can see it looks like we've got some iOS messages and some WhatsApp messages. And if I, I can look at them uh, together, I can select one uh, at a time, completely up to the user. Uh, here you can see we have the messages uh, by user and they're all threaded. So here's the one with 304, here's 13. So I'll go ahead and look at this one with 13. And as I'm scrolling through, you can see it's all nicely threaded uh, for you by the user. We can uh, do filtering very quickly on the time if there's something very specific you're looking for. But this really makes it easy to review text uh, conversations uh, with Magnet Review. I can go ahead and maybe I want to go ahead and look at WhatsApp now. Here you can see we have uh, not as many messages, but here's one with uh, Selena Kyle with 18 messages and I start scrolling through it. Once again, very quickly and easily can read through these messages. If I had uh, certain key terms, uh, search terms I wanted to use, I could absolutely just do search terms uh, to get those hits as well. I love the ability though that now you can just have that threaded uh, conversation within Magnum Review. I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to the artifacts view here. Here you can see some of the other artifacts that we uploaded as a part of this investigation. So we have Apple Notes. I always recommend people checking those out. Um, I can just click on these, see what information uh, is handy. Uh, once again, Magnet Review just makes this very, very easy for us to scroll through this information uh, as an investigator and tag things and add uh, information as we might need to, uh, to be able to create quick reports. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and hop right back over to the case. Uh, we have our overview so we can see who's assigned to the case. I can always share this case very quickly just by punching in someone's email address. So they would get an alert and be able to log in to review this data as well too. Uh, I could create new tags if I needed to. So maybe each investigator that had access to this uh, case would have uh, the ability to create their own tags so we could identify them that way. And then if I wanted to, I can go over to reports and once again, I can uh, go ahead and create a report of the information that's in this case if I just need a quick you know, report maybe uh, to share with the uh, prosecutor. With that, make sure to check out Magnet Review. Uh, it is available in SAS or you can uh, put it in your own cloud tenant. We'd love for you to take it for a spin, uh, see what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, have a great day. Thank you.